Hi, I wanted to show you my Axiom Lowrider front rack. Uh, this is, will be a short review and also we'll show you some of the modifications I've done to make this rack the way it is. Uh, <clears throat> it's a good solid rack. It's made to fit on just about any bicycle, uh, especially something with a sturdier front frame. And I'm not sure how it would rack up with front shocks, but I have it here basically on a 26 inch mountain bike and one of my pet peeves with touring bicycles is when people have this rack and it's not mounted straight if you know what i'm saying if you look at the side here it's level it's level here and most people have it where it's way back and it's angled so your bags will be back here so what i've done with that um when you get the hardware it's basically these these just these little U-bolt basically things and it gives you a mounting plate normally they would go in right here and that's where your um, fork would be but if you do that here you know it wouldn't be straight and level and be angled back so I just found what would work and adjusted the frame adjusted it it has short little adjustment screws to kind of get it to where you need it to but I just mounted it back here. If you see the other one, I have electrical tape, vinyl tape, just wrapped around the frame. That way it wouldn't get too, you know, it wouldn't scar up or mar up the frame a little bit. You can see it is a little bit here. I should probably redo this one. I did redo that one back there. Uh, that, that way it's level, carries your load properly, flat, flush. It looks good. It looks so much better. The other adaptation I made is this front bracket, this front brace. And this is pretty simple to make. It took me a little while to figure it out, but what I saw a few other pictures of some other racks, like some Blackburn wraps, racks will have the hoop across here. I wanted to angle it out. It's way it helps protect the front. When the gear's here, it helps keep the bike uh, a little bit more durable. And if I needed to, I could just pick it up or move it about right here. Uh, it was just something I felt that I really, really help on be beneficial on the bike. And what I did to make that is I just took a piece of metal, um, just three quarter inch by, uh, I forget the measurements, but I basically measured it out from here. It's actually, it was 17 inches to create that. And I just bent it around to make sure I had just a decent amount of clearage clearance here as you can see some good clearance and then I also just kind of lightly bent these tabs in just a little bit so they'd be a little more flush rather than out that way it will control this fender or this uh, rack system from splaying and I've had that happen when I have a lot of weight and a jarring around where it actually these will start to bend out just because these brackets are not that good these little bolt-ons so this way it will keep my load together It'll help prevent it from splaying and bending outwards here. And it'll also help protect the front and give me a little bit something to hold on to. And I just put a couple stainless steel bolts in here with a lock washer in the rear. But there you go. There's the Axiom front rack. It's 30 bucks pretty much. You can find it online. It's good if you want to adapt it to any bicycle. Uh, I use Axiom bags, so that's really beneficial. It's basically built for that, you know, clip on the front and hook down here there's other options for whatever type of bags you could probably figure something out but i say for 30 bucks it's a good rack uh instead of paying <laughs> 175 plus for other racks for competitive models but there you go it's a great rack and there's my modifications uh let me know if you have questions on how to make this or if uh, you want the dimensions um let me know thank you